kids. You heard the cartoon rat. If you haven't already run to your parents' house, can we go, Dad? Can we, can we, can we? Tell you at least. Can we? No, 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 no. Ask your mother. Yay! Mom, guess what? We're going to Itchy and... You know, Itchy and Scratchy Land isn't just for kids. They have a place called Parents Island. Hmm? Yeah, dancing, bowling, fashionable shops, over 100 bars and... Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, March. They're still not fighting back. <laughs> I can be a jerk and no one can stop me. <laughs> Visible dog leash. <laughs> well, I'm packed. And remember, every morning give one bowl of kibble to Santa's little helper. Do you want me to write any of this down? No way. Don't worry. I've got an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> got any fruits or vegetables? <laughs> Mr. Wembley, it happened again. Now to absorb. We better find a motel and stop for the night. We don't need to do that, March. I'm not tired. I'm not tired at all. <laughs> all right, we're here. Let us never speak of the shortcut again. Now remember, we're in the itchy lot. And four children. Now, uh, would you like to buy some itchy and scratchy money? What's that? Well, it's money that's made just for the park. It works just like regular money, but it's, uh, fun. Do it, Dad. Well, Here at Itchy and Scratchy Land, we're just as concerned about violence as you are. That's why we're always careful to show the consequences of deadly mayhem so that we may educate as well as horrify. All right. Mm, I'll have the baby guts. <laughs> Lady, you disgust me. Ugh. Mom, that's feel. Parade. Hurry up or we'll have to wait for the 1205 parade. <laughs> Dirty, maybe. Dangerous, hardly. These are the latest state-of-the-art animatronic robots. They have sensors that ensure they only attack each other, never the guests. And they day together as a family. It is the 70s, right down to the smallest detail. Hey, the bartender even looks like John Travolta. Yeah. Looks like. Oh no, disgruntled goat had his moments. <laughs> and over. Please kill me. <laughs> Among his proudest achievements was the full length musical Scratch Tasia. And the violence really does desensitize us. Mop and bucket man to the exit of the nauseator. We have another jumper in the roof of TGI McScratchies. <gasps> I'd be terribly embarrassed if I were that boy's mother. <laughs> Attention, Marge Simpson. We've also arrested your older, balder, fatter son. Well, according to my calculations, the robots won't go berserk for at least 24 hours. <laughs> oh. Dad, I think you're wrong about that robot trying to be your friend. Lisa, don't contradict your... <laughs> It looks like we're doomed. Back, you robot! Nobody ruins my fa- I'll get more cameras! Smashy smashy. I don't approve of that. It would turn out to be our best vacation ever. Yeah, best ever! Are you two bonkers? We almost got killed. Not to mention all the embarrassment I suffered. But I hate to think what's happening in your itchy and scratchy land. Hey. Hello? Itchy and Scratchy Land, open for business. Ugh, that bottle's a right-wing crackpot. 
He said Ted Kennedy lacked integrity. Can you believe that? Yeah, switch the station. I consider myself politically correct. To Mrs. McFeely's compost heap. <laughs> and three, our six-term mayor, the illiterate tech... School project. You think you're so big because your class always gets to do projects. Well, um, I'm doing a school project on, uh... Fireworks. Democrats and their bleeding heart smell fair program. Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? When I'm driving the car, I get to choose the radio station. <gasps> that sounds like Sideshow Bob. Yes, ma'am. Sideshow Bob. Yakking it up on the old yak box. Dad, I'll spare you the embarrassment of admitting you don't know who Sideshow Bob <gasps> Sideshow Bob? Oh, I'm only 10 and I already got two mortal enemies. And uh, this proposed expressway will bring increased commerce. Little simpleton. Mm-hmm, myopic, or to say the least, intransigent. Now, you mentioned some woes there. Well, you see, Birch, I'm presently incarcerated. Mook's person, Joe Camel. Well, I've had it. I am going to make it my mission to see that our friend Bob is set free. No! Very well. If that is the way the winds are blowing, let no one say I don't also blow. By special order. Hail, brothers. Kuranun Silaria Uzu Mahok. A fine Mahok to you all. Well, he's even better. I agree. I like the human touch. Now, Stu. He wants to sell your future short. Pulled <laughs> with the Republican Party and lived to tell about it. <gasps> uh, yeah, yeah, I love Grimby. Uh, could I have some more bumper stickers, please, dude? Not many people know I own the first radio in Springfield. Weren't much on the air then. The League of Uninformed Voters presents the Springfield Mayoral Debates. I'm your moderator, Larry King. Now a word to our audience. Even though we're being broadcast on Fox... Sideshow Bob, Councilman Les Wynan says that you're not experienced enough to be mayor. Well, sir, what do you have to say about that? I'd say that less whining. All right, let's go live uh. to Bob headquarters now for Mayor Terwilliger's victory speech. House is blocking construction of our new Matlock Expressway. Now, I am a fair man. You will have 72 hours to vacate. At that time, we will blow up your house. Ah! Now, boys and girls, who knows what this is? Triangle. Very good, Bart. You have first choice of toys for free play. Cool. I call the Flintstone phone. Four. I thought this was a secret ballot. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Aaron A. Aaron, so cool, Bart. We're just like Woodward and Bernstein. Yeah, except their dad wasn't waiting in the car reading Archie comics. Stuck up Riverdale punks. Think they're too good for me. Find him and you'll find your answer. Oh, no Edgar Neubauer. Don't you see? Dead people can't vote. Look! Prudence Goodwife died 1641. She voted for Bob, too. So did Buddy Holly Richard. I have a plan. I think we can trap him. You know, Sideshow Bob, I believe you when you say you're innocent. I did it all! There. 
Is that what you want, you smarmy little bastards? We want the truth! You want the truth? Your conscience may force you to vote Democratic, but deep down inside you secretly long for a cold-hearted Republican to lower taxes, brutalize criminals, and rule you like a king. Someday I'll have my vengeance. Someday, when I find my way out of this savage, roach-ridden cesspool. Different stage long enough? No. <laughs> time together as a family is spending time apart as individuals. Parents Island? Uh huh. I'm sure we'll appreciate each other all the more when we meet up at dinner. Are you kids gonna be all right? You think you're God's gift to women, do ya? Don't do it, Bart! <laughs> <laughs> One's coming on to me. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Robot! Are you two bonkers? We almost got killed. Not to mention all the embarrassment I suffered. But, Mom, it's exactly what you wanted in a vacation. It brought us together as a family. Boat's on the other side. Yes, thank you. Usually follow. Oh. Mayor Quimby supports revolving door prisons. Mayor Quimby even. Re you have first choice of toys for free play. Cool. I call the Flintstone phone. Yeah, but dabba do. I like talking to you.